thrilled, Jay, with his growth this spring. Yeah, it comes from a, from a family of quarterbacks. And He's been Devin Leary not. played at NC. From what we can tell, there is no depth chart. That's just us speculating what the first and second team made. No hitting the quarterback either, which is tough for no a defense. No hitting the quarterback. Leary back to pass, zips it out to Corey Rashad, former walk-on, gets out of bounds. System under head coach Brett Bielma. He is well studied in the offensive system. And Jay, while he hasn't back to pass on third and long, Leary all day to throw, and it goes off the shoulder pads of Ashton Hollins. Live on the punt return here, but Fabrizio Pinton will make the first punt of the afternoon, crosses the 50-yard line, and that is where the next offensive unit. The first down there is the open, open receiver. I mean, Ashton Hollins, I give, I give Altmaier a lot of credit, right? His ability to say, you know what, I didn't get beat bit John Paddock out when I got back healthy, but I stuck with. Oh, Caden Fagan, who we expect to be at the top of the running back depth chart in the fall, dealing with some rehab of an injury he sustained last season. Yeah, Caden Fagan, kind of momentum in a football game. Altmaier to pass. Goes wide, looking for Malik Elzey, and it is a catch. On They're playing with much more confidence this spring. On second and short, Altmaier on the option, slings it out to Wiltshire. Ability to throw the, the slant if he wanted as well. Could see Altmaier as a dual threat this season, so we've been told. Has plenty of room here, and now we'll scoot up the middle, and they'll blow the play point, Brooke. And remember, last year, he was one of the most sacked quarterbacks in the FBS. It's a big reason why they want to see more decisiveness from him at the quarterback position. So I think if you, yeah, you're a little bit younger than me, so maybe you don't know about dial up, but it, you know they made that sound. Dee, 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 dee. Altmaier over the middle, and he does dial it up there for a first down. But that basics down is when you start to really thrive. Pitch it, McCray cuts it back up and across the 10 yard line. Altmaier goes underneath. The catch is made, fighting for the end zone and stops short. Now they've changed it first and goal. It goes to McCray, and he will tiptoe into the end zone. A great push from this offensive line that the coaching staff is through. Admitted, they didn't have enough depth at the offensive line. You know, Zy Crystal they didn't have enough depth, and they couldn't protect Altmaier, and they couldn't run the ball when they run, wanted to run the ball. And Barry Lunny talked about it. You can't run the ball whenever score being kept. We have seen one touchdown. Though. We have if seen you one are touchdown. Just joining us, Josh McCray. Here's a pass out to Alexander. No, With right. all that they lose, who will emerge? And they love the depth of that room as well. As Aiden Lawfrey is wrapped up. Third down, the possession receiver out of the slot. That's still a battle. Wilcher and Beatty are battling out. Underneath and off the hands of Colin Dixon. A respect of a quarterback's ball. Fabrizio Pinton, a pretty ball hanging high in the air, is caught at the 30-yard line. And again, if you're just joining us, no today. So we'll see Luke Altmaier again, who led a touchdown. On You're going to struggle in college football. And this is what I like right here. So a couple times they've gotten Luke Altmaier out of much more comfortable. The playbook's opening up for him more here in year two. Play action, and it's a busted play, and Altmaier will scramble out of trouble. about that? We keep going about the process, and it, it's going fast. It's going faster for him. I mean, slowing down for him. As the game slows down, you're better. Aiden Lawfrey's a fast guy, proud of Gibson City High School, the Falcon. Run, run. Here is Declan Dooley, number two punter in the class of 2023, in a tight spiral inside the 15-yard line. The west, the west, and not open it up. <laughs> Because I think you open up to more uh, stronger competition. Leary opens it up and hits Hank Beatty for a first. Even alone would knock down 10 balls a game, <laughs> right? Well, not just knock down, he could have had a pick. Leary going deep for Hollins and deflected in coverage by Jaheim. Healthy. Second and 10 for Donovan Leary running the number two offense against what we believe to be the number one defense. As Jacob Matthew Bailey and Xavier Scott not being healthy in the defensive backfield this spring, he's got a huge opportunity. On the biggest run of the spring game so far, fake it to Lawfrey. Deep shot, and it is broken up intended. 
Longfrey gets the carry again, this time a toss, stretching it out inside the, for multiple Big Ten teams. Altmeyer looking for Malik Elzey. Deep shot to the end zone. Elzey coming. A little bit underthrown, and Elzey's able to come back to it. The old wheel route, right? So he runs the wheel route. It's getting in the end zone there to come back and get the ball. And that is two touchdown drives led by Luke Alt. Miles Scott had a pick six that just totally flipped the ball game. Here is Corey Rashad on the ground on first down in our first look at Kirkland Meat. Michel going through his progressions, and now we'll throw it out of play. Daniel Brown, the JUCO transfer, they, they believe those guys are going to be special on the outside, but man, it's going to be tough in the interior. Spring long just to get acclimated and get ready for the upcoming season. So you got Donovan Leary, Dylan Rosiak, and Luke Altmeyer. They are wearing them here today. So well, time and time, hey, hit this. Reason. He'd ask, hit Ashton Hollins. Of course, they can't do that. Leary back to pass, zips it over the middle and stripped out. High school games where a, a team will come off of the field and they will sit underneath the tent and watch a big screen TV of the former. Uh, uh, Court developmental reps, they are really excited about his future at Illinois. He's, a, he's built a little bit different than all of them as Michelle takes off here. He, High school career in Westlake, Texas. He's an option if it gets to that point as he zips it on an out route, and the catch is... Stop him, man. Can't stop talent. Cream rises at the top, even in Starkville. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing doing on it's off the field. Well, and with NIL, some of them get paid like it's a full-time job, sure. right? Luke Altmeyer back. Through a paper towel or Drinking water upside down, that, I think. There's lots of old wives' tales about... Altmeyer floats it out to Rusk, who made... that. In his repertoire, it's like in his in his mind, he's just hitting him. Here he goes again. Faked it to him, then zipped it to him, and he picks up a fever out of the backfield. Back to Lawfrey. Shifts back left, carrying the pile with him and dragged. Like Lawfrey that can get to the edge. Fake it to Lawfrey. All day for Altmeyer. Back to his running back, who again scamper ball team. She's in the sorority. She's an AKA, so she's enjoying life. So we're gonna scoot back. He's keeping an eye out for me, guys, on the side. He's a character as well, could you tell? That beating Ohio State four times, even years after his playing days, I just love that that brings him game. Had an eight win season. And it seemed at that point that there was some real momentum around this program as Altmeyer takes a shot over the middle. Free in the backfield to the left. They will fake the pitch. Altmeyer on the run, makes the throw, and it's just out of the... It's running vertical with a deep shot. Then they say, let's run the football right at you. Then they move the quarterback out of the pocket. And this is a staple run play as well, where they, where they do a double pull either... And Altmeyer floats it out to Lawfrey with nobody around him. It's a touchdown for the sophomore. We have a funny line that a defensive line coach once told me. He said... It was second I season. think that's huge in the transfer portal era, right? You're coming from a totally new background, not with your your took through 14 spring practices. Takes a deep shot. Leary down the left side and a diving. High and tight, family man, and a local real estate agent. If you need to buy a house, he's your guy. I mean, free advertising. This year, and he's playing now like he's not thinking at all. He's just playing on instinct. As Ashton Hollins gets a grab on the sideline. That's a long throw from Leary, and Hollins continues. Sure. In the 2023 class, yeah. had never not been the guy. Right, cut before the line of scrimmage. He's not nearly as effective. Leary airs it out again, and broken up in coverage. Both his parents are deaf. They had to hire someone to come in for the home visit that could help them sign language to his parents. Leary through his progressions to Wiltshire, shakes one tackler, and then the gang comes to get him down. In here for David Olano, and that is into the wind, and no good. Mm -hmm. And it is, they would say this is a wind tunnel stadium, one of the windy.